Don't forget about the power of your personal brand. Just had a great CEO session podcast. that will be coming out soon with Stephanie Stuckey, who's the CEO of Stuckey's. And one of the things that came up about her was that she bought this business back and the balance sheet, Stuckey's didn't look very good at the time. In fact, five years of losses, she comes in, turns it around within six months, it's profitable again. And we get into the details of this, but the question you might be asking yourself is, why in the world did Stephanie buy a company back, even if it was her, had her family name on it? Why in the world did she buy this thing if it wasn't making money? It doesn't seem like a good idea, right? Well, turns out it's called the power of brand. She believed in the Stuckey's brand and she knew the brand was worth a lot and that all the financial analysts that were telling her not to go about it, not to go buy this company back, they weren't really taking the brand into consideration. So the power brand really sings. And if you grew up like me in the Southeast, you remember Stuckey's, you always stop there on road trips, right? They have great pecan logs and candy and toys and all this stuff. Who didn't want to stop at Stuckey's as a kid? So we all remember this, the brand is worth something and Stephanie moved on it and it's paid off. So what does this mean to you? Well, don't forget about your personal brand. Yes, we think about our job titles. We think about the money in the bank. We think about the technical skills that we pick up along the way. But what about your brand? Your brand's worth a lot. And what consists of your brand is what makes you unique, right? Your job title doesn't make you unique, at least not for very long. What really makes you unique are the relationships, the trust, and really the purpose and mission that you're on. That's what makes you unique in the world. So don't forget about your brand and make sure that you invest in it.